This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. 38,712 miles, <laughs> which is greater than the circumference of the, of the planet we live on, which is only 24,900 and something miles. 38,712 miles is the mileage that Lauren Boebert wanted to be paid, and indeed was paid, during her, her campaign during her 2018 campaign. And now she's being investigated uh, for for, uh, the mileage claims and for tax liens. Because it is absurd. Listen, I talk about the hypocrisy of the Republican Party all the time, the projection, the lies, uh, just, just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But... I mean, it shouldn't surprise anybody that the party of law and order doesn't really care about the rules or the laws. They don't care. They care about power. I'm going to read from this New York Times article about Lauren Boebert and her 38,712 miles. Um, From the New York Times, Colorado, to examine Lauren Boebert's mileage claims and tax liens, the state's attorney general has referred for review a fraud complaint from the group that targeted Representative Madison Cawthorn in a sign of trouble for the first-term congresswoman. Colorado officials are examining allegations that Representative Lauren Boebert, a Republican representing the state's western half, inflated the mileage she logged on the campaign trail in 2020 and then used more than $20,000 in reimbursements from donors to pay off years of tax liens on her restaurant. Law and order. Mm Mm-hmm. Right. The allegations have bounced around liberal circles since the Denver Post first reported in February uh, that Miss Boebert had cashed two checks from her campaign, totaling $22,259 for mileage reimbursement. The number equated to 38,712 miles, well more than the 24,901-mile circumference of the planet. She cashed a check for more than $22,000 for mileage and then used that money to pay off the taxes that she was in violation of not paying on her restaurant. Law and order. But the same group that unleashed a torrent of unflattering information about Representative Madison Cawthorn that helped defeat his bid for a second term in North Carolina last month has brought the matter to the Colorado Attorney General's office, which has referred it for an interagency examination. Janet Drake, the state's Deputy Attorney General for Criminal Justice, told David B. Wheeler, one of the founders of the American Muckrakers uh, PAC, on Tuesday that her department would work with the Colorado Department of Revenue and Department of Labor and Employment to, quote, investigate the issue. Lawrence Pacheco, a spokesman for the Colorado Attorney General, confirmed that the matter had been forwarded to an interagency group, quote, to evaluate the allegations and whether legal actions are justified. He said the Attorney General, Philip J. Weiser, a Democrat, would have no further comment. Aides, I always like to include comments from the accused, aides to Miss Bobert said on Wednesday that she had accounted for the mileage she logged. The campaign revised the initial total under scrutiny, but that was because other reimbursable travel expenses, such as hotel costs, had been combined with mileage. Yeah, yeah, because when you're, you're doing a travel reimbursement, you just naturally... When you stay at a hotel, you you wrap that in with your mileage. It makes no sense. And it, it seems to me to be a clear lie. And they said she paid off the tax liens before the reimbursements reached her bank account. Law and order, right? Gross. These people don't do their jobs. They attempt at every turn to just create notoriety for themselves. They don't write legislation. They don't propose laws. All they do is have a vote in Congress. That sometimes they don't even do that. 
these people are disgusting hypocrites and they need to be held accountable. And in this case, there might be legal accountability that would be fantastic. What do you think? I'd love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Look, I, <laughs> I too often am, it, like this isn't surprising. I, I get asked that question a lot. Well, does this surprise you? If I only, if I relegated the things I talked about uh, to only be things I'm surprised about, I'd have to shut down the channel. But it still needs to be talked about. This still needs to be addressed. This needs to be brought to the attention. Because whether you know it or not, I get a lot of emails and voicemails from people who are former Republicans. Like me, a former Republican. People who, who have watched my content or a culmination of different people on YouTube, read articles, and started... Um, getting truth pilled out of their of their their slumber in the Republican Party, the scales to use biblical references, the scales fell from their eyes. So it is important to talk about these things because you you might know that it's true, you might believe it to be true, but there's a lot of people out there who don't. There are, there are who knows an unenumerated <laughs> number of uh, of Americans who are just finally starting to come around. And one, we need to open up our arms and welcome them into the arms of rationality and reasonableness. But we need to leave space for that as well. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling now. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Um, follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore just about everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. And if you appreciate what I do, if I bring some value to your day or your week or whatever... Or you just like the cut of my jib. I don't know how that's possible. But if that's the case, please consider supporting my work right here on the, on the channel. You can click the join button below this video. It says join. I'm not sure what color it is. Green or blue or whatever. Click the join button. See what's involved to become a channel member. And for $1.99, you can help support and produce what I do right here. Or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Anyway, I love you guys. I will see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. Take care of one another.